absolutely love coming into my garden every day because I swear there is like growth overnight. I'm not going to do a tour yet, but I just wanted you guys to see the black fabric that I have laid out and I'm getting ready to start the process of adding my rocks to um, the garden. Also, I will be preparing my trellises for my tomatoes, my cucumbers, and my peppers. I have to make the trellises a lot higher than what I have, so I'm going to be using the rods that I have and some chicken wire and just making a DIY trellis off of some of the materials I already had here on the land. So stay tuned for that as well as I prepare that and add it to the garden this evening. Alrighty, let's go. All right, y'all, I am taking this rock pile I have here on the land that we took out of the driveway when we laid the concrete. And I am actually incorporating, repurposing. I'm using the tractor and I am repurposing it to put it in my garden that is on this side. So if you guys can see, I just lined the walkways here um, on the outside and I'm going to be doing this and then that side as well. All right, y'all, this is what I got done so far. I'm going to put some pollinator flyers, flowers inside of that planter down there. And then I got the rocks done along that border. I just got to do that little corner. And then I got them done over here. And I probably go get another planter to put in this little corner as well. And then I just want to push the rocks along the fence line a little bit more over here. But other than that, the garden is looking good. Like I said, um, I will get ready to walk you guys through the garden and show you the growth. And All right, y'all, it is Friday. So um, I am getting ready to do the garden tour. This video took place over two days where I um, laid rocks down in the garden yesterday. I still have a little bit that I need to do, which I will show you guys um, here in a second but i got most of the rocks and everything done yesterday before uh, mommy duties kicked in I had to get dinner and bath time and all that fun stuff done so i'm getting ready to do a quick garden tour as you can tell it is windy a little bit windy here and we've been getting tons of rain this morning and i usually like to wait until the evening time to do the garden tour for you guys um because i post it uh every saturday at 9 a.m but since the rain is not here, I decided to come out real quick to just show you guys the garden, what's going on in the garden um, real fast. I wanted to get my trellises and different things like that done and finish the rocks, but the weather is super crazy here today in Ohio um, zone six. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do the tour and then put out what I have for you guys. And then I might do a bonus video this week I'm showing you guys how I create the trellises. All right, so let's do it. All right, so we are in the garden. So you can see here, I have the rocks. I got some more hay here to put inside of the beds just to continue to help with the weeds. But the solution that I did use um, has helped with the weeds a lot and they have not been growing back at a fast rate. So I'm gonna keep spraying that solution. It doesn't help when our weather here in Ohio is crazy and we keep getting rain. Um, but I'm gonna spray the solution probably tomorrow or Sunday inside of my walkways as I'm not laying any rocks in my walkways. But if you guys know of anything that I could put down in their walkways, leave it down in the comments and let me know. But again, we have all of the potatoes here in this row that is growing up really well these are the red potatoes i don't know the name of them but they're just like the red 
potatoes that you can get at the at your like local grocery store so i have these down here and then my blueberry plant is not doing good at all um, i might end up pulling it out of the ground and starting over with it um I'm not 100% for sure what I'm going to do with it, but I know that it's not it's not doing good. And then here I have a marigold um, just to kind of attract some pollinators. And then I have this bucket here that I'm going to finish putting rocks along that fence line and making that all pretty. And I might even go get like a, a garden light or put my rain gauge in there. And I'm going to put some pollinator plants inside of the bucket there as well. And then over here I have my celery that's down in the ground doing very good and then we have our pepper plants here um as you can tell that's doing good and peppers look at the little baby pepper right there that's forming um so the pepper plants are doing good i'm excited about the harvest for this because my family goes through a lot of peppers and they're so expensive in the local grocery store so my plan with the peppers is to just harvest as much as I can and be able to make some freezer meals and put some in the freezer as well. So I have some collards that I planted that I showed you guys in the last video that's doing good as well. And then I have these collard plants, which the solution that I use with the peppermint oil. Um, also, I use spearmint, peppermint, and then there is one other oil. I'll leave it down in the comments because I can't think of it at the top of my head. Has definitely helped with the pest. And I still have this one leaf, um, but for the most part, no other leaves are being ate on my plant. So that solution helped. I will leave it down in the comments what I actually use to help fight the pest in the garden. But look how beautiful these collards are, y'all. I'm so excited. Our family eats tons of collard greens, so um, I want to make sure that I'm getting plenty of that as well. And then we have another marigold. These are my carrots here that should be about ready. I'm going to be pulling those out of the ground. We can actually see a carrot down in here. Look at that. That is so exciting. So I'm going to be pulling these out of the ground soon. Um, I have my niece here in the garden say hey YouTube Hi. <laughs> um, I'm out here teaching her how to grow her own food and be able to steward a garden and we're gonna be cooking with the stuff that we harvest so look at all the peas that I have here on this plant um, these are my pea plants here and then I have three more here and then this spinach I'm getting ready to dig out because the season is done for that and we're done then over here, I planted another tomato plant. And as you can see, I still have to finish the rocks over here. But I have another tomato plant and I actually have a tomato growing in down here. Look at that. Look at that. And I got another one back here. And then another one growing up here. Yes, that's exciting, you guys. So I have four tomato plants over here. Um, so my plan is for these is to take some chicken wire and connect them to the rods to help to trellis up that way. Or I may just go get some PVC piping because these are indeterminate. So I'm not sure how tall they're going to grow and um, trellis them up. Then we have more pepper plants and... Um, that are growing peppers over here as well. There go one down in there and more pepper plants. Look at this one in here, um, more pepper. And then y'all rookie mistake, I direct sowed some onions down in the ground and I did not lay any mulching down to fight the weeds. So I'm not sure which leaves are onions and which leaves are uh, weeds. So if you guys know or can give me any insight on that, leave that down in the comments for me as well. And then we just have more rocks here. Um, this is a melon plant that is getting super big. Look at all the flowers on there. That's another reason why I want to get some um, plants in the garden to help attract the pollinators and then we have a strawberry plant here 
and um, I got little runners coming out so I'm gonna start working on a trellis for that and we have another marigold and we have the cucumber plants and this is one thing I love about doing the garden tour I actually was out here in the garden yesterday and did not see any tomatoes on those plants and now I'm out here today and I have tomatoes on the plants so I'm so excited about the garden and all of the stuff we are going to be harvesting this year. Mm -hmm. 